Hi, I'm Dr. Heath. I'm a psychoanalyst. Hey, is there one thing that bothers you more than anything else in the world? It doesn't have to bother you so much. Whether it's the family member that leaves the cap off the toothpaste tube, or the person that talks while they're eating, or slow drivers that sit in the fast lane. I'm not just talking about a little annoyed. I'm talking about things that bother you so much, you just want to show them a thing or two. So, are these control issues? Maybe I want to control the world. <laughs> oh wait, that's another video. Check out my video on narcissism when you get a chance. Now, what I'm talking about is a variation on that, where a particular issue really bothers you. Sometimes people call that a pet peeve. Things really bug us when they touch us on an unconscious level. In fact, a high intensity of emotion is a great marker for something going on under the surface. It's like a volcano. A volcano is big enough, but what it's tapping into is really huge and you don't see it. But wait, what are you actually reacting to? The other driver, right? Because they're the ones that aren't following the rules. But wait a second. What if your expectations of the other person are getting the better of you? Sometimes we psychoanalysts call this projection. What if that person is distracted? Maybe their girlfriend just broke up with them and they're thinking about that. No, all I see is some jerk who doesn't care about other drivers. But wait, am I talking about myself now? See, there are things about ourselves that we can learn from these pet peeves. Sure, everybody has them, but the content and the way it comes up is particular to the person. What if you're somebody that spends a lot of time learning the rules of the road? People say you're obsessive, but it's not that, you're just passionate. Your passion highlights the indifference this other poor guy has for the rules of the road. It's not personal. It feels like it is, but it's not. So my passion for rules and my annoyance at this other driver are coming from the same place within me. Maybe uncertainty makes me feel out of control or overwhelmed. So what if I'm the kind of person that really likes the toothpaste cap to be left on the toothpaste? Maybe there's bigger fish to fry in this world, and maybe I can just clean off the excess toothpaste once a week. I'm here on YouTube, 7 Central on Thursdays. Please subscribe to my channel and consider contributing. I've got a couple of options. There should be a link on the screen here. See you next time.